I wouldn't even know what to do if she popped. Like, will it will it go with a bang? Will it just start steaming? What happens? <laughs> I think it's safe to say, I know it's windy, but I've got tears in my eyes because I'm so happy. Heckler was, and we set off on Day three, I think it was. Um, it was a dry day, lovely. The storm that, had, were, that we were expecting to be worse than what it was came through and, and passed us. And we, we went out in the morning and rose to one, an, another waterfall where we could see Hecla in the background, the active volcano. Um, and to know, and interestingly, when we were there, I got a signal, I got a message on my phone to say that I was in an active volcanic area and just to be careful. And that was, um, it wasn't scary, but it was kind of, um, it was exciting to know that, you know, that could be an active volcano at any moment that we were there. We're gonna be going up near Mount Hecla, which is uh, Iceland's most active volcano. So I'm looking at it in the distance thinking, this is amazing, like super close to it. Little did I know that we're going to be getting closer and closer and closer and closer to it. Um, but that, that I think, was the first point where it really moved me. Because I, I, just knowing that it could go at any moment, and we're getting closer to it, and there's warnings everywhere because you're getting closer to it, and then there's, you know, past lava, fl lava flows um, from it erupting before, I was just like, if that happened now, that would be amazing to see it, definitely. All this lava field has just come from Hecla. That's just heaven. That look all the way up there. <laughs> Couldn't wish for any more. They were explaining last night what this actually is, this Hecla uh, che safety checkpoint. We just thought it was a, you know, to let you know that you're nearly here, but those that go off on expeditions, well, like we are really, that, that there's like a radar and you have to press a thing in your car that registers your GPS location to that. So should you need help, they know that you're in here. Amazing, really. Hecla, volcanic eruption hazard. Oh yeah, first time I've been that close to an active volcano, ridden on it and uh, um, and ridden around it. Yeah, it was, you know, it, it had the snow on, on the cap of it. It had snowed the night before because there was a fresh dusting that we, that we kind of got close to. Um, it was, as with the waterfalls, it was just awe-inspiring to be there and have the privilege of you know being on dirt bikes and uh, riding these tracks around Hecla. It was amazing. It was slightly unnerving because again, being so close to an active volcano that could pop at any time, I was kind of being a little bit dramatic in my own, you know, in my own uh, mind with it. Really, you know, it's it's two years overdue. It could erupt at any moment. So getting closer to it definitely nerve-wracking to think that you know you could be in its trajectory of anything it's spitting out but just amazing to be that close to it and see it in, in 
in um, in all its glory, you know. And the day after, we got even closer to it. We went right up to it and behind it. Um, oh, and it's just again, I kept having little moments to myself where I go a little bit quiet and just trying to appreciate uh, where I was and just looking at it, thinking, you know, I'm probably going to be reading on the news at some point soon of that going up, you know. And luckily, it didn't happen whilst we were there, <laughs> right at the bottom of it. <laughs> it's incredible to see that there's nothing but moss, ice and snow up here. Black, volcanic ash and rock, as the island has been born out of volcanoes. Just incredible. It's definitely a moon landscape up here. And it's an absolute privilege to, to be able to witness it. You can smell it. You can smell the uh, the sulphur. Wow! Look at all this. Wow! Look at that. It's just steaming away. Unbelievable. We are right beneath them. Look at all this, it's just spewed from her, from her mouth. Look at this. This is, we're right at the end of a spew zone. That's floored me, that has. <laughs> Mate. Oh my God. This is where it ends up. Oh my God. Mother nature. Mother nature. Look at that view. Wow. Oh my God. Wow. Just look at this landscape. You never thought coming up that hill that you just open up onto another plane. Oh, this is incredible. This is not Hecla. Hecla is that one up in the distance. But wow, this is pretty special. I've had a real moment today. You know, knowing that, well, seeing Mother Nature like that, you know, and, and thinking that any second now she could just go. And then seeing previous lava flows from previous eruption, eruptions. Yeah, it's. Um, it's been absolutely amazing today. It's probably been my best day so far. 